Welcome everyone. I'm Laura Hsu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I'll show you the targeted adjustment tool, which was added to Lightroom CC in version 2.2 .2 in February of 2019. This tool allows you to click and drag in your image to target and enhance particular colors in your image and or particular ranges of tones, such as bright tones. Let's start with color. I'll open up the color panel and I'll click on the mix icon to get into the color mixer. Now for quite a while, we've been able to adjust individual colors by using sliders. However, sometimes it's not clear what color a particular area is in terms of Lightroom's eight colors or an area could be a mix of multiple colors. So the new target adjustment tool takes the guesswork out of it. I'll click on it. This opens up an options panel. Now what I'd like to do is intensify this color. So I'll click on saturation and then I'll come up to that color. Now the top left circle you see is where I'll be sampling. The other two circles are the colors that Lightroom is finding in that area. So it's finding a mix of green and aqua. As I move the cursor around, you'll see those two circles change. In this area, there's significantly more green than aqua, so that aqua circle is smaller. I'll click and drag to the right to increase saturation. If I come over to the color mixer and I change the dropdown to saturation, you'll see that in fact, Lightroom adjusted both green and aqua pretty equally since where I sampled, those two colors were pretty equal. Note that after using the target adjustment tool, you can always fine tune the solution with the sliders. Maybe you want less green saturation and more aqua. Next, I'd like to shift this color away from yellow, a little bit more towards blue. So I'll choose hue and then I'll click and drag in this area again. To the right, we'll shift it towards blue. Finally, I'd like to lighten up this color a little bit. That's luminance, brightness and darkness. I'll come up and I'll click and drag to the right to brighten. Now notice that these enhancements have been made to this color everywhere in the image, not just where I'm clicking and dragging. If instead you did want to affect just a particular area, you would turn to the brush tool. Now, if there was another color in the image that I wanted to enhance, I would just select the component that I wanted to affect, go to it and click and drag. Let's move on to ranges of tones. I'll click on the X to close the targeted adjustment tool. I'll collapse the color panel. I'll open the light panel and I'll go into the tone curve. The tone curve allows us to adjust the brightness and darkness and also the color cast of particular ranges of tones. I could easily spend a half an hour talking about the tone curve here, and you could take workshops where you spend days working with a tone curve. Instead, I'll focus on the target adjustment tool. The nice thing about it is that you don't need to understand the graph to use it. Once you click on it, you'll see this options panel. I'll click on this S. That allows me to adjust the parametric curve. It's the basic curve for beginners or for simple adjustments. I'd like to brighten these tones in here, so I'll click and drag to the right. Now, as I did that, I brightened up these really bright tones too much, so I'll click and drag to the left to darken those. Now, as I've made these adjustments, the curve has bent away from the diagonal. Next, I'd like to darken the darker tones in this image to add more contrast. So I'll find a darker tone and I'll click and drag to the left to darken. Of course, there are other ways here in Lightroom to add contrast to images. Generally, we turn to the tone curve when we want to be more specific about which ranges of tones we want to brighten and darken. Now, if you're an experienced point curve user, you can use these last four options luminosity point curve, as well as the red, green, and blue point curves. 
I'll show you quickly, I'll click on the luminosity one, that when you click and drag, you're placing points on the point curve. I'll do Control or Command Z to undo that. Notice that from within the target adjustment tool for the curve, we can jump over to the color mixer target adjustment tool. So we can easily jump back and forth. Finally, I'll close the target adjustment tool. So just by clicking and dragging on the image, we've been able to make significant enhancements to both color and tone. I'm really happy that Adobe has added this tool to Lightroom CC. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and you're on YouTube, please show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Also, visit my website and subscribe to my email newsletter so that you hear about new tutorials and articles and Lightroom news as it breaks. I'm Laura Shue.